Hey Puzzlers, this is Steve here with another video on how to solve some logic puzzles. This one's called the Sashigani, and how it works is you're going to divide the grid into L-shaped regions. The regions must be only one cell wide. A circle indicates where the L must bend, so the elbow. And if there's a number in that circle, it represents the size of the L. Arrows indicate the ends of the region and points towards where the L is going to bend. Now one quick disclaimer here, not all the possible clues are given and there may be some hidden regions with no clues provided. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is try to solve this puzzle for you guys and you know share some common tips and tricks to hopefully make it easier for you to solve them yourself in the future. Now I've pulled this puzzle from my recently published book on Amazon. I'll post the link in the description below. Would love it if you guys would check it out. Had a lot of fun making the book. Hopefully you guys have a lot of fun solving the puzzles. But without further ado, let's get to solving. So the main tip here is to look at where uh, the number clues are or the elbows. Essentially what you're going to be doing is trying to find minimum and maximum lengths. And so this 8, for instance, at most can go towards the right 1, 2, 3, 4 cells. And so it'd be forced to come down at least 4 cells. Now, uh, it just so happens that that's the maximum, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this is a forced region. So that's real easy. So I'm going to actually draw that one out. And that's a good start. Um, the other thing to consider is if uh, an L cannot bend in one way, it must go in the opposite way. So what I mean by that is this 7, right, you can't bend and come to the left. So it has to come to the right. And so forth, uh, you know, same down here. It can't go down, so it must go up. Can't go down, must go up. This can't go to the right, so it must come to the left. And it's basically you're going to do that along any edges. And as you create edges, uh, you can do that too. So this 5, even though it's not along the border, you can tell it can't go up, so it must go down. And then you can do the same with the arrows. All the arrows here, you know the cell below it is going to be part of that region, right? And this one, it's going to go up. So you can see this 5 runs into this arrow. And so you can kind of tell that region is going to form like that. This one's going to kind of bend like this. This arrow is the end of one. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. So you can kind of see that goes like that. Now this 6, right, can't go to the right. It'd run into another elbow, so it must come to the left. And that meets up with that arrow. And we can do this with all of them if my mouse would work. There we go. Now this is an interesting area because it can't bend here. It would run into this other region. So it must go straight. And it meets up with the elbow. So that's the elbow there. And we know it, it goes up here. Uh, so we can draw that. Now this region, uh, you can tell this L, this bend here, this L can't go down, so it must go up. And so we can form that. Now it can continue going up. Uh, we don't know that quite yet, so we'll have to come back to it. This circle can't go to the left here. It run into the other elbow, so it must go right, and it runs into that arrow. And we know it can't go down because it would run into this arrow, so it must go up. So we're creating some nice little inroads here. Now this 7, it's a large number, so we can count the maximum and minimum possibilities. So at most it can go to the right 2, but it can come to the left more. It can come 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It'd have to go up at least 2, right? That would be the largest possibility going towards the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we know it at least goes up two. So we can kind of draw those lines there. Um, if we go up, at most it can be one, two, three, four, five going up. Now it could go over two or left two. So we don't know if it goes left or right quite yet. Now this seven's kind of squished into the corner. So if we think about the maximum possibility, one, two, three, four going this way. So we know it can't bend down, right? That would be a maximum size of 5 if the L was this way. So it has to go up. So 1, 2, 3, 4. It has to come over 3. 
So it, actually, that seven is forced, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's the maximum length it can be. So we know that's our seven. Now, if we think about these cells, the only way to reach those cells with an L shape is to run into this seven here. So you know it goes over like that. And now we know one, two, three, four, five. It must come up to six, seven, like that. And so that caps off our seven. Now, if we think about uh, this five, we can't, can't come over this way, right? We'd run into this eight region. So it has to come over and it's forced to go all the way because we only have one, two, three. We need four, five to come over like that. So we can block that off. And we've solved that five now. Now, if we think about this shape, we can't come to the left like that. We'd isolate this one cell here, and that's not going to work. We can't isolate any cells. So it has to come down, and same thing, it can't prematurely turn like that because we'd isolate these cells. So it has to keep coming down. And so we can think about this region now comes down like that, and it can't turn right. It would run into this, so it must go down at least one more like that. Um, so that's, we're making good progress there. Now this six, I noticed it can't go down. It would run into this arrow, this region. So it has to come up. Ooh, if my mouse works, why is this not working? There we go. This is one, two, three. It needs to come up three, four, five, six, like that. And so now we've completed that L. This eight is forced to hit all of these. So that's one, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight. So it comes over like that. I am struggling with the mouse today. All right. Um, let's think about where to go now. This seven can't go up. We'd run into this region here. Right, and if it did, there's not enough space, right? If it went all the way down one, two, three, four, five, six, that doesn't, there's not enough space. So it has to come down. Uh, if it comes down one, two, three, four to the maximum, it has to come over three, and it can do it left to right. So we don't know if it goes left to right, the seven, uh, but we know the, the L above it, we've already established it can't bend here. Uh, so it has to continue onward. So if we were to bend it here, I think we'd create a problem. If we bend it here, right, and we close off that L, how are we going to fill all of these cells, right? You're going to have a problem where if we close this L and that L there, we have this shape here, which is not an L. And if we came down one and close it off like that, we're going to have this awkward cell. So that's a long-winded way of saying that this shape cannot bend here. So it has to continue going forward. And so now we can run into this. This can be the bend, right? This can come over like this. That's one possibility. And I think that has to be it, because if it comes down, we're going to run into the same problem where these two shapes cannot fill all of this area. Um, you know, we could make this an L, but this, this would be broken. So in fact, this has to be the L shape there. And that is helpful. How is that helpful? Okay, so let's look at this circle, this elbow here can't bend to the left, we'd run into the seven. So it has to go right. We'll draw a little line like that to separate it. And now this region can't go up, it would run into the other one. So we have to cap it off like that. And we're doing well so far. Let's think about this area here. Um, the seven, right? I don't think it can come to the right because if it does, one, two, three, four, it'd have to come over three. So one, two, three, it'd have to come over like that. Oh, 
I suppose that could work. Let's think this area. I don't think this can bend here. Well, I suppose maybe. No, it can't. And this is this is tough to see, but if we did it like this, we'd have the two L's, but then you're going to break the seven. This is not going to work, or you're going to have this awkward individual area. So I don't think this can bend, because if it bends over like that, we're going to have this weird shape that's not an L. So it has to come down all the way. So that is forced. Now these cells must see the seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the seven comes down like that. This circle must see these squares. Oops. So we know that shape goes down like that. Um, if you think about this four can't come to the left. There's not enough room. Because if it comes to the left, we'd have one, two, and three if we go up, or three if we go down. There's not enough room. We have to have these two involved. So now we don't know if it goes up or down um, quite yet. But this five now is forced to go down because it can't go up. It would run into the four. So at most it can come over um, here to this corner. It'd be one, two, three, four, five. So it has to come down at least one more. And so we can kind of draw that. Now to hit this square, we need to come over. And to hit this square, we need to come up. Because if we go straight, we're going to isolate this cell. So that's an L like that. We can close that off. And this has to extend to hit this cell. Because if this cell is not part of this L, Right, say it's like that. We're we're gonna run into a, some trouble here. You're not gonna be able to have the L's fit in that area. So this can come over, oops, like that to finish that off. And this can't go up because if it does, we'd have this non-L shaped area. So in fact, we have to come over like that. This is forced to be an L like that. This five is now gonna be completed. One, two, three, four, five. So it has to come over. Now we know the four goes up, right, like that. And there you have it. That is a Sashigani. Uh, I like it. You know, it's a lot of fun. It's very different. Um, it's it's a lot of it intuition, I think. Uh, you'll start to kind of see the shapes. Um, but it's fun. I think, I think the tips that I've provided uh, hopefully will help you guys get started on them. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Thanks, everyone. Have a good night.